In the previous video, we unboxed the PAB 1000. We had a quick review, then we did a teardown. If you didn't see that video, the link is in the description. In this video, we will test the console and play some of the built-in games. Also, we'll try to add uh, more games to it. You will see this animation every time you switch the console on or press reset. This is the game list. Each page has 10 games. On the side we have an artwork of the game that's been highlighted. As you can see there are 95 built-in games and number 0 is a video. Now let's see the first game, press start and this is the loading screen in real time. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it's shorter, it depends on the size of the room you are playing. Press reset again and we have the animation again. From now on I will skip all unnecessary segments of the video to make it shorter.
This is the Super Mario Advance, a room for the Game Boy Advance. Let's -a go! Choose a game! Super Mario Go! Choose a player!
This is an example of a ROM with a big file size and this is the loading screen in real time. It takes a while but most ROMs load quickly.
Now let's hook the device to a PC and see what happens. Okay, USB my storage device been recognized. Let's see how big it is. That's less than one gigabyte. On the box it says two gigabyte storage. Okay, so inside we have three folders. This one is empty. This one is system and it has two files. Let's go that and system.cfg. And in the third folder we find all the built-in games. including the music video that we saw earlier low resolution and this is a thumbnail for the artwork and these are all the games with their thumbnails so in theory we can delete or modify the game list and make it customized to our liking Here we have three text files with the list of all the rooms. The name of every room file is written twice. For example, Contra Hardcore, twice in English. And the same with the rest of the rooms. This text file has the same list, except here we have the name of the file and the Chinese translation, I assume. Angry Birds, Sonic Blast, and all the rest the same. And the third file looks exactly the same as the first one, only in English. Some of the rooms are saved in a zip folder, as you can see. By the way, you cannot play any game while the device is connected to PC. Because all what you're gonna see on the TV screen is this. Now let's switch the console off. And let's insert the CD that came with the box, with the super games. Let's eject the CD tray.
we have three folders one for arcade games one for the Game Boy Advance and one for Sega a lot of rooms in this CD Let's see how many rooms exactly we have in each folder. For Sega we have 521. For the Game Boy Advance we have 109 room files. And finally in the arcade folder we have only 32 rooms. And all together there is uh, 662 extra games that you can add to your console now let's play some room files from the sd card first let's test some mega drive rooms Now let's try a GBA game. And last but not least, an arcade game. So the SD card works great, but it's too bad that we cannot access the built-in games if we use an SD card. And if you try to play a file that is not supported by the console, you will get this message. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. See you in the next video.